Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So with this video, we're just gonna make very fast. I'm gonna show you like how to actually link two parts together. Okay, so let's say I have one position right here. Let's say, let's make it 101 size or 111, okay. And so this is our positions right here. Okay, so I got, this is the part called A, and this is another part called B, in another position, of course. Both of them have a position in space that describe, basically, their position in the world. Okay, so now let's say I want to make a part, okay, that would link these two parts together. So how I can do that? Well let me show you in a script this is the video that will show you that so let's make a script first of all let me think about it a bit um, we need the size of the part which is basically this distance so we can just like get the distance between these two positions you know um, that's the first thing second thing the position of the part which as you know that position of parts is around the center so if I want it to be exactly how I want I can like center it like in the center of this distance basically but yeah let's go let's make a script it's not the best explanation ever but we're just trying to do things pretty fast here so local a equal to or local a equal to workspace dot a Local B equal to workspace. Why that works like that? Okay, dot B. So now I got my my two positions. I can even get the position themselves. So dot position dot position. Mm, all right, cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a part first. So what we can do, we can just like create a part you know and then we can just put it inside the script or we can do it manually in the script and let's do that because why not local part equal to instance.new part okay so now we just created the part now what you gotta do is we gotta anchor the part just make sure it's anchored we're gonna make sure the parent is the workspace we're gonna parent it until we position it well and size it well so now the question is what is the size of this part which is pretty basic vector 3 dot new in the x and the y that's the thickness of the part okay so I'm just gonna make a, another variable called thickness here so we can control it very easily let's say 1 for now and then I'm just gonna say thickness here and thickness here but in the z that's where we need the distance between the two parts you know between these two parts so how we can get the distance between those two parts I'm just gonna say distance for example and then I can just do here local distance of course you don't need a variable but just to make it clear a or b minus a or a minus b it doesn't matter just like that and then you're just gonna like cover it in this kind of um, parentheses right and then dot magnitude because if you get a vector 3 and then minus a vector another vector 3 you basically get a new vector that is basically um, the result of this operation and then we're gonna get the magnitude or the distance of that vector which is basically the distance that we want okay so that's basically it now we got the distance now the size is pretty good now what you gotta make sure it's fine is the C frame or the position and the rotation so the C frame equal to C frame dot look at we're gonna use something called look at and as you can see you got the parameters here and you got two types of parameters even or not really two types but just you can like give it a vector 3 up to but vector 3 at where to look at we're gonna look at the B and 
and the target wait takes her three target yeah this is actually this is the position and then the target where we're gonna look and then this is the up vector okay so at is um, let's we gotta need the the mid position so local mid position so basically we need the position that is in the middle of these two parts so how we can do that well a plus b divide by 2 just like that a plus b divide by 2 alright now that should work so we're gonna position it in the mid position and then the vector 3 target will be let's say you can either say b or a but just for the sake of it I'll say b okay so victor3 target and then we can also add a victor3 though up if you want from well um we can just say victor3 dot new 0 comma 1 comma 0 this is basically the up vector I can put it in a constant local up equal to this basically all right so that's what we got I think we should be fine now let's run and here we go it worked um, but those two parts weren't anchored now let's run this and here we go we've done it we just link two parts together using a script how cool is that all right um, so that was it for this tutorial it was just a quick tutorial of course you can do more than this but for now I'm just gonna keep this tutorial very simple and very concise so see you later goodbye